guys, welcome back to Read Me a Story. I hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to read a story about a little penguin who learns to face his fears. Come join me as we read Be Brave Little Penguin by Giles Andre. Be Brave Little Penguin Written by Giles Andre and illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. In the cold Antarctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones. There were thin ones. There were penguins short and tall. But the little penguin Pip-Pip was the smallest one of all. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, little Pip-Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip-Pip echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip-Pip, said his daddy one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a silly thing to say. Be gentle, said his mommy, taking Pip-Pip by the hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come on, little Pip-Pip, dip your toes in here just so. The water's calm and still now. You can do it, nice and slow. But what if the water's freezing, Mommy? What if I get in and it's just too dark and deep for me? And what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters who smell me from their den and they slither up and eat me and I'm never seen again? I understand, little one, said his mommy with a kiss. But Pip-Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in the water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of treats to eat? Take my hand, little one. Don't worry. I'm right here. Please trust me, little Pip-Pip. Be brave and never fear. Slowly, Pip-Pip made his way towards the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery, icy ledge. Then he looked back at his mommy, and as his small heart thumped, he closed his eyes, he held his breath, and little Pip-Pip jumped! Splash! For a while, his mommy waited, then she cried out, Something's wrong! Pip-Pip, please, where are you? You've been under way too long. So she leaped into the ocean, diving deep into the blue. Then suddenly, from nowhere, came a little voice she knew. Mommy, Mommy, over here. Hey, Mommy, look at me. I'm swimming, Mommy, swimming. Look, I'm swimming. Can't you see? She turned and spinning circles through the water, bright and clean. Swam Pip-Pip with the biggest smile the world has ever seen. And as she watched her little one, right there before her eyes, he burst up through the surface and he soared into the sky. Woohoo! cried little Pip-Pip. Look, Mommy, I can fly. It's really not that tricky. You should try it, Mommy, try. Oh, Pip-Pip, laughed his Mommy as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you've learned to swim. Then his friends all gathered round as Pip-Pip landed with a bump and said, sometimes all you have to do is just be brave and jump. The end. Wow, wasn't it amazing how Little Pip not only learned to not be afraid of the water, but he learned to love it. I know right now things are a little different for a lot of you out there. It might be a little bit scary. But once we face our fears, we'll see that there's a lot of love right now out there. We see people being kind to others. We see families spending a lot of time together. And soon things will get back to normal. But for right now, we can just love the good things that life offers. And speaking of good things, I hope you join me tomorrow for another good book on Read Me a Story. Mm -hmm.